Mrs. Preddy, school librarian, here today to share a book I just read, City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Chapter 1. People think that ghosts only come out at night or on Halloween when the world is dark and the walls are thin, but the truth is, ghosts are everywhere. So why does Cassidy believe in ghosts? It's not because her parents have written a whole series of books about the science and mythology of ghosts. It's because a year ago, on her birthday, there was an accident involving her new camera, a bike, and a frozen river. She wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for Jacob. Jacob really did save her from drowning in the icy river, and ever since then, she can see ghosts and sense when they are near. Honestly though, being saved from a death by a ghost? Does that really surprise you though, knowing her parents write books about paranormal activity? Since that accident, she can see the veil, the boundary between this world and the living and the world of the dead. When she moves the veil, she can see the past replay at the moment leading up to the spirit's last moments on earth, walking into someone else's life on earth and death. Cassidy says there was something about the moment when Jacob saved her from the frozen water. It somehow got them tangled up and now she's not all alive and he's not all dead. Oh, did I forget to mention that Jacob, who is now also her best friend, is a ghost? As Cassidy says, if we were a comic book, this would be our origin story. It's not fun for her to constantly have the noise of ghosts around. She's really looking forward to summer break at the beach when her parents announce that the books they've written are being turned into a TV series and they'll be spending the summer on location at the most haunted cities in the world, starting in Edinburgh, Scotland. Ugh. The story starts in the U.S., but the real action begins when they reach Scotland. In Scotland, Cassidy sees spirits everywhere. But when she sees the raven in red, it's so different, and like the spirit is hunting Cassidy and Jacob, the legend is that the raven in red calls and sings to children, drawing them from their safe homes to their death and now she has her sights set on Cassidy as her next victim. She starts hunting Cassidy as she wants something Cassidy has, and if she gets it, it will be disastrous for the city. When the Raven in Red tricks Cassidy and steals her life thread, Cassidy's only hope is to become a ghost hunter and go to battle. It wasn't just about getting her life back, but also about saving the world's children from the Raven in Red and taking back the power she'd stolen before it was too late. If you're like me and can't wait to know the whole story, read City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab.